Welcome to more The Legend of Zelda The Minish Cap. On the last episode, we made our way to Mount Crennel's base and we watered this vine. We grew that crud. So what do you say we finally climb it and see what's up here? We've got actual Mount Crennel, because before we were just on Mount Crennel's base, a little bit different. How do you feel about that crud, Ezlo? Hmm, it seems there are two types of beans on Mount Crennel, blue and green. The color is different. I suppose how you treat each one is different too. Okay, we already knew that, Ezlo. Thanks a lot, man. So up this way we have the Krennel Wall, and to the right we have Krennel Mines. We're gonna go to the mines first, because you can't really do crud with the wall right now. Although we do have these red choo-choos to deal with. And we're gonna have these guys, spiny beetles hiding under rocks. So we can't slash them directly, but we can just pick the rock up off of them and throw it at them. We could also prod everywhere. We could also use the uh, gust jar and use that to suck the rock off and then throw that at them as well. So there's a couple ways to deal with those guys. Really not too bad. Kill off this red choo-choo. I don't think there's any more spiny beetles hiding in these rocks, but might as well use the rocks to throw out the tektites at least. And there we go. So here we've got this weird looking wall. Can't do anything with that. More weird looking wall over here. Can't do anything with that. But I can look for some rupees. Oh wow, got one. Ooh, and some bombs as well. Which is actually pretty handy because I was getting pretty low on bombs. Now that I got those five, we're up to seven. And I'm going to need one right up here because we've got a secret wall. Let's go ahead and set a bomb down right there. And let's blow that critter open. I don't know why they make so many walls secret on Mount Crennel, but they just do. So let's go ahead and pick up the pot. Throw it at the red choo-choo. Got him. I'm going to try and get a red rupee. Ooh, blue. That's pretty good. Red? No red? Come on, game. Just give me just give me one red. Okay, they're going to give me bombs, I guess, which is still nice. And a blue kinstone piece. I'm going to go back over to my boomerang right here. And let's go upstairs. I don't know why there's a staircase in a cave, but we've got a new enemy. We've got these spike choo-choos. I forget if they're called spiked or spiny. I'll put the correct name on the uh, graphic thing. But these guys will actually get spiky, and if you touch them, it's pretty painful. These guys are not too bad, though, because they've got a major weakness, which is the shield. If you hit them with your shield while they're doing the spike thing, it just instantly cancels it, and you can hit them right away, so pretty handy. I don't know why I switched to my boomerang when I need, need my shield here, but let's go ahead and drop a bomb now. I'm not going to blow up the left block because... That's not needed at all, so I'm just going to avoid it. I'm just going to push up right here and right here, and that'll let us get through. Okay, there we go. Actually, if you push up this left block, if you blow that crud up and push it up, you'll get stuck. <laughs> you can't progress. You have to go back down and come back up, and it's kind of annoying. So just don't even blow up the left block. Just uh, save yourself the trouble. So right below us here are some rocks, but if we drop down there, we're going to have to backtrack and go all the way through the cave again. So instead, I'm just going to not do that. Go up this way and kill this guy. Maybe I can throw this rock at the other one. Before he jumps. Oh, I just threw it like right onto his toes, dude. Crushed the toes, but it didn't kill him. We'll break a few more rocks. Now down this way is back over where that wall was. Before we had that sign that said mines this way and walls that way. Down there is the wall once again. And we can actually read this. It'll tell us the same thing pretty much. I'm going to destroy that sign. But yeah, we're not going to go to the wall yet. We're going to keep going towards the mine. And this sign will say, Crennel Mines that way. So I guess if we're still going towards the mine, we would go this way. Small problem. We actually can't get up there. So we're going to have to take the long route. So it's a shortcut to the bottom. We're actually not going to take that shortcut, but there is other stuff over that way as well. Uh, I guess I could keep trying to use the rocks as weapons, but not really needed. Because I've got the boomerang. Boomerang is very good at dealing with P-hats, very good at dealing with almost anything. So throw at the P-hat, that'll break off his head. Throw at these guys, they'll stop jumping around. We can even pick up rupees with it. It's great. I don't think we can find a red rupee. Crud! I don't think we can find a red rupee in the rocks. But I just like breaking all the rocks, cutting all the grass, getting all the stuff we can as we go. It just feels wrong not to. Well, that guy kind of got me. I don't have every single spiny beetle location memorized, so they are going to pop out sometimes, and that's kind of the risk with those enemies, is sometimes you just don't know they're there. Of course, if you want to play it safe, just use the gust jar to suck up all the rocks, and that way if there is one under there, you'll be covered because you'll suck it up from a range. It's right here. We've got a side. Shortcut to bottom. We're not going to take that, but we will go ahead and blow up this wall right here. And inside there, of course, we'll have some good stuff. I'm going to get my shield out. We'll need that once we're in there. Because inside here, we've got a Deku Scrub. So let's knock the nuts back at him. Go ahead and cut down all of his grass. Ooh, get some more bombs. Nice. Oh my gosh, there is a lot of bombs. All right, we'll talk to him here. Okay, you got me. Let me make it up to you. This fabulous grip ring is just perfect for a young mountaineer like yourself. Climb in style for only 40 rupees. What a bargain. So what do you say, huh? Sure. So the secret area that we went to in the last episode that gave us 50 rupees definitely helped us get this crud. So now with this crud, those weird looking walls we've been seeing, we can actually climb. So right up this way, we can climb right on up. We've got a secret cave here. We'll go in there, but let's break these rocks first. We gotta break all the rocks. 
Ooh, one rupee. See, it's worth it, guys. We get money. So up here we've got some weird looking stuff on the ground and a couple of buttons that we actually can't press right now. So nothing we can do with this cave yet. We'll have to come back in a future episode for that one. So instead we're gonna go down and I know the sign says shortcut to the bottom. I actually want to go to the Krennel wall now, but this path will also eventually lead to the wall as well. So let's go down here. I wanna pull this mushroom back and jump across, but with this rock in the way, we won't have enough distance. So I'm gonna get the rock out of the way and that way we can pull to where the rock was and then we can launch across. So that little climbable wall at the bottom right, that will actually take you to the entrance to Mount Krennel, so I don't want to go that far down. This is, this is far enough. We're going to go through this section again. We've already been here. And right over this way will be the wall. So we'll drop down. And let's move along here. I think I already broke all these rocks, so I'm not going to break them a second time. And I don't think I broke these ones, so we'll get to that. Let me get my boomerang out. I just love the boomerang for tech ties. Just a way to make them stop jumping all the time. Go! Let's break these two. Now, right here, we're gonna have another secret. You can hear the weird sound right there. Typically, if there's like some rocks surrounding one empty space of wall like that, usually there's gonna be a secret there. Of course, if you don't want to waste bombs, just poke it with your sword to find out. But yeah, usually if there's, you know, some rocks like this, it pretty much indicates you're supposed to go in there. And here we've got some fairies. We'll pick that up to heal and get ourselves a piece of heart. And I'm gonna go ahead and actually catch one of these fairies in a bottle. There we go. You caught a fairy in your bottle. This winged friend will come to your aid if your life energy is depleted. Hooray! Now, I don't actually need to uh, get all the fairies, but I just like to. And I'm going to take the fairy off of my A button so I don't accidentally use it. If there's a crinal wall, watch out for falling rocks. I will do my best. In the, I think it was the last episode, I marked the boulders as a threat level 6. And these guys are kind of weird because they're so random that... Sometimes they'll just completely avoid you. They won't hit you at all without you even trying. Other times, it's like they go out of their way, and no matter what you do, they always hit you. So it can be kind of up in the air how dangerous they are. Sometimes you just start getting pelted by boulders. Like right there, it just went right over me. I just totally dodged it without even trying. Uh, but sometimes they just will not stop hitting you, and it's very dangerous. They do half heart every time. No bomb throwing. Okay, I guess we'll just have to place the bomb. I'm not going to throw it. I'll just set it down gently. And the boulders are being very cooperative right now, which is very nice. So, let's go in here. And we've got this little well in the, in the ground. So, let's go ahead and throw a bomb in. Let's do exactly what the sign said not to do. What the? Welcome to the Adventurer's Spring. Did you throw the golden bomb into the spring? Or the silver bomb? Uh, it was just a normal bomb. It wasn't gold or silver, so I guess I'll say neither. You are honest. I must reward such an honest adventurer with some of my power. Hooray! We get a big bomb bag. Now you can carry more bombs. So now we can carry up to 30 bombs. If you say the golden or the silver bomb, she'll basically call you a liar, and she'll take away all of the bombs that you have. I mean, you'll still keep the bomb bag, but your bomb count will just go all the way down to zero, which kind of a big pain considering there's a lot of useful spots for bombs in this area. So took my first bit of damage from boulders. I'm just going to climb straight up and hopefully they'll just dodge me on their own. Look at that. Yeah, they're just going to the sides of me. I'm getting really lucky right now. Let's go up and over this way. There's a little cave you can see on the left there, so we'll go check that out. But first, we've got another new enemy, which is not those guys. But over here, we've got a blue tech tight. Pretty similar to a red tektite, but they're just a bit faster. You can see them jumping along a little bit quicker. So they are a bit more dangerous, but they still go down in two swings. You can still stop them with the boomerang if they're just jumping too crazy. So nothing too scary, but a, a little bit more threatening than the red ones. Go ahead and break some rocks here. And let's go down this ladder. I don't know why there's a ladder here once again, but there is. Got some weird looking thing on the left. We can't do anything with that. But on the right, we've got a cave to check out. Gosh dang it. Keep forgetting to check for these guys. Uh -huh. You know what, dude? It's time for the gust jar. Let's suck this dude's rock off. Launch it back at him. There we go. Get both these rocks. Get both these rocks. I think these are all safe. Yep, we're good. Okay, so let's go inside here and talk to this guy. I'm the Krennel Hermit. I left the world to pursue a life of quiet reflection. You seem to be but a child, and yet you climbed this forbidding mountain alone? I must reward your courage with a little information. Have you not seen strange pattern walls as you climb this mountain? Bombs! Bombs are the answer! Now, we could fuse with this guy, but he's just going to have a random fusion, just like we would get back from Hyrule Town, so not going to fuse with him, because it's probably something I can't collect right now anyways, so I'm not worried about it. And I just realized the Krennel Hermit is probably why these ladders are here. He probably put that there, so I don't know why I was so confused by the ladder. 
Let's go ahead and kill this guy. Yeah, the enemies usually don't respawn, but the rocks and stuff will. And this guy, I'm gonna steal your rock and throw it at you. Uh, I guess there's a few more rocks up here. Oh gosh, there's a blue rupee. Let's get that crap. I've been breaking every single rock as we go. We can't stop now, guys. We gotta get them all. So let's grab this mushroom. There's a gigantic pit below us, so let's not fall into that crud. Let's just launch all the way across, and suddenly it starts raining. So we've got these holes next to these boulders that we can't do much about from this side. So we're gonna have to find a way to get on the other side. So let's shrink down to minute size. And it looks like there's a tiny path we can take over here. So, in we go. Oh gosh, oh! These raindrops are like boulders of water to us, kid. Watch out! If one of them hits us, it'll sting something fierce. Yeah, we've got a brand new enemy, literally water, dude! And it is dangerous. No, I I'm just joking. This these guys are not actually considered an enemy like the boulder is. This is just water. And uh, somehow I managed to dodge all of it. Wow. I never thought I could go out in the rain and dodge every drop, but I did it. So let's go up here and turn back to normal size. And what we have to do first is go push this boulder into the hole. Now we can walk across, which is very handy. But we have to get that other boulder into this spot. So back over here, there was a boulder. And we have to push this one all the way over there. Now, if you get this boulder stuck in a corner where you can't push it, just go back to minish size and then go back to normal once again. And it'll go back to uh, the position where it was at. So that's one way to reset it. I'm just gonna hopefully not get it stuck. This is basically a Pokemon strength puzzle. As long as we don't shove it in a corner, we're gonna be just fine. So right here, we just have to push it in a very straight line for a very long time. And just like the old school Pokemon strength puzzles, it just takes a long time. Now we gotta push it up. And we push it over and the puzzle's pretty much done. So this last rock that was in the way was pretty much just blocking us so we couldn't jump through the hole. We we'll just get it out of the way. And now we can move on down into here. Hmm, which path should we take? Uh, I'm gonna take the Gust Jar out, because I know if we go through here, it's gonna be a Helmosaur that... What the? Okay, normally he goes up this one, but I guess this time he went up the right side. That's okay with me, though. We'll just go ahead and suck both these guys. And there we go. Throw one at the other. We got him. So, uh, that worked out pretty well. Let's go down to here. We've got some boulders to push, or some blocks to push. And there's gonna be some that we can't push, and some that we can, just like that. So, for example, that's the wrong one. Oh, crud, that's the right one. Is this the wrong one? That's the wrong one! Okay. Now, I want to actually push this one aside and push this one down. That'll be important later. Then we'll get this guy up. We'll go over to this side. And since we pushed that one down from before, we can push this one over. And then we can push these two on the sides down. And that'll allow us to push this one over to the left. And we get through that puzzle. We did it. Good job, Link. Now we're back out here. Let's... Well, I guess we could just use the Gust Jar. Boomerang or Gust Jar are both really good at dealing with P-Hats. And they keep giving me bombs that I don't need. I've got plenty of bombs. Pick up some more rocks here. And I guess I'll throw it at the P-Hat, although there's a spiny beetle there. Uh, yeah, we'll just throw the rock back at that guy. As you can see, Gust Jar, so much better with dealing, uh, or for dealing with spiny beetles. The only problem is, it means you're going to have to spend all of your time checking every rock if you don't already know where they're going to come out at. But let's get these pots. And we also want to suck these pots over here before we try to jump, because they'll block us. There we go. And now we can launch across. If you try to launch across before actually looking and seeing this pots there, for some reason, even though we boost up really high like that, they'll just block you somehow. Uh, there we go. I almost sucked the mushroom tip, but I guess we're fine. And we actually got some health out of that there, which is nice. We've got that fairy in reserve, so that'll help out if we actually do get knocked out. But for now, I'm just going to hopefully get lots of health drops. There we go. What I'd like to do is throw the boomerang, hit them once, and then the boomerang will stun them on the way back, which is handy. Right there, I kind of knocked them in a pit. Oh, well. So let's go ahead and push these aside. Get these three pots, maybe get a red rupee. Now just more bombs. So down here, there's going to be a switch that we could pick up a bomb and throw across to explode. But if we've got the boomerang, we can just throw the boomerang in. Save ourselves a bomb just like that. So we'll just do our strat here. There we go. Throw. Swing and throw. No, it's not going to not gonna work. If the boomerang actually hits the wall too soon. Oh! Oh! It happened! We got the red rupee, guys! We did it! Not that I need the rupees for anything, but yeah, we got the legendary red rupee out of the pot. I told you guys it was possible. Here we go. I don't even know what I was talking about before. Something boomerang related, but don't worry about that, crud dude. We got the red rupee. Okay, so let's go up through here. I'm gonna have another rock to deal with. So we'll push this guy down. And you wanna avoid pushing it into walls or into corners, because that's how you're gonna get it stuck. If it's up against the wall, we can't actually grab onto this guy to pull it. We can only push the rock. So that kind of makes it more complicated. Over here, I'll push it to right there. And I'll push it up. I don't want to push it up again, because then, once again, it'll go into that corner, which we don't want. 
So we'll push it like that. And we go at it. There we go. And you know what? I actually want this guy to be in the corner. No particular reason. Just uh, getting ready for the new Animal Crossing game. Got to decorate some things. So we'll throw some crud. Oh, almost got him. Thankfully, my boomerang stunned him. So there's one chest over here we have to go get. And uh, we'll push... Oh, let's push that one over. And there we go. We got ourselves a blue kinstone piece. We also get a red choo-choo just dying. Okay. Did he drop anything? Yes, some more health. I'll take that. Back up to full health right here. And right up this way, guys. We get to shrink down to minish size. And we get to go through here. Where there's going to be a lot of red moldozers. So let's see if we can deal with these guys. Now, the shield is pretty good against these guys, but the boomerang is also very good. I've already got the boomerang equipped, so I'm just going to use that. Maybe get some more rupees. Now, getting a red rupee from an enemy is, I guess, possible. I don't know if every enemy can drop a red rupee, but some definitely can. I think certain enemies are more likely to drop rupees than others. Most enemies, if you get a rupee, it's probably just going to be a green. But these guys are not dropping too much. Maybe? Nope, nothing. Okay, this is the last one. you got to drop something good. Jeez, dude, nothing? Oh, well. So now, we've made our way to Milari's Mine. This is where we wanted to be. This is where we hopefully can get the Broken Picori Sword fixed. But, I'm going to be evil. I'm going to go ahead and wrap things up here for today. We'll come back next time. We will go talk to Milari, and we'll see if we can get our crud fixed. See you guys then. Take care.